I'll come back next year tonight to an in-depth look now at adjunct professors and the role that they play at colleges and universities. While the average salary for a full-time college professor in Florida is about $117,000 a year, many adjunct professors say that they live beneath the poverty line. ABC Action News reporter Anthony Hill tonight finding out what created this situation. According to the Service Employees International Union, more than 70% of professors in the Florida college system are adjunct professors, meaning they don't have the same job security, they're paid significantly less, and they don't receive the same benefits as full-time professors, making it officially a part of the gig economy. My name is Yuki Jackson and I'm an adjunct professor at your institution. I'm writing this letter to condemn and raise issue with Ringling College of Art and Design's exploitative labor practices that uses the adjunct system of employing classroom educators. Yuki is like the thousands of adjunct professors who are complaining about the lack of pay and benefits their institutions offer them. She even wrote this open letter to the administration so they can understand her struggle. Because of that low pay, you know, it requires adjunct, most adjuncts um, who you know, are making a living from, you know, for themselves have to then go out and get other forms of income. She taught writing, literature, and media studies at Ringling College of Art and Design in Sarasota. She says she only made a mere $3,000 a semester. Since adjuncts can only teach up to two classes per semester at Ringling, this means I earn $6,000 total per semester. Yuki says in order to make ends meet, she had to teach at nonprofit organizations and Uber on the side. We reached out to Ringling a number of times by phone and email. They declined to comment. According to the latest survey of adjunct professors by the American Federation of Teachers, a quarter of respondents earn less than $25,000 a year, and only 20% said they can comfortably cover monthly expenses. The uh, pay is set throughout the whole system, and it's quite low for adjuncts. Michael Walcher is an adjunct professor of journalism at Florida Gulf Coast University in Fort Myers. He says he was lucky because he did quite well for himself in his career in TV news. He says he became an adjunct professor during his retirement to pay back the industry he feels he benefited from. And also to train the next generation of journalists. And I feel that um, I'm giving back by doing that. I'm not making a lot of money. And while money isn't an issue for him, he says he understands how hard this can be for the many who are depending on this job, especially because it lacks many of the benefits full-time professors receive. But you do not have access to the state uh, health care system or uh, signing up for insurance that way or dental or vision. Health care is tough. It was great when the Affordable Health Care Act came in. That AFT survey found that 45% of adjunct professors put off getting needed health care, including mental health services. And 64% say they've foregone dental care. We have done research um, on, you know, the condition of higher ed for a while now. To find out how the profession of being an adjunct professor became a part of the gig economy, I turned to Randy Weingarten, president of the American Federation of Teachers. She of, says um, there are three main reasons why we're seeing this trend. First, disinvestment in public education. States and localities used to spend a lot more in terms of, um, of investment, in terms of higher education. Second, she says many institutions of higher education are not spending the money where it should be spent. Frankly, it takes a union to help create the conditions that kids need to learn and to stay in college and that teachers need so that they can have not only a, you know, a decent wage, but they can spend the time with kids, not running from place to place to place. And third, she says there's been a lack of organizing among faculty. I think it gives you a layer of protection and it gives you a voice at the table. In 2016, adjunct professors at Hillsborough Community College were the first in the state to successfully join a union. Joyce I Smith is an adjunct professor of political science at HCC. SEIU is the union that represents them, and they say 
Adjunct professors there have received about a 14% pay increase over the years from their first contract, and they receive cancellation fees in the event the college decides to cancel a course. It's always very difficult doing a negotiation. You're not going to get everything you want. Another concern for many adjunct professors is the topic of retirement. Many say a secure pathway to retirement is simply out of reach. In fact, according to the survey, 37% say they don't see a path to retirement at all. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.